Hi everyone! Uh, good morning po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa ating Soul Devo. Uh, thank you for uh, joining uh, this morning. At uh, purihin ng Panginoon at tayo po ay muling uh, nagkasama no, sa online nating mga broadcast tulad nito, uh, Soul Devo. Last Friday, I would like to uh, apologize. No? Hindi po ako nakapag-soul talks. <laughs> um, embarrassingly, no, nag-slip sa mind ko po na wala sa mind ko. But uh, I promise na this coming Friday, uh, I'll make sure na hindi ko na makakalimutan. Anyway, thank you po for those of you who are right now tuning in dito sa ating uh, Soul Devo. And uh, we are continuing on sa ating uh, pinag-uusapan. We are meditating on the, the Gospel of Luke. And uh, we are in chapter 22. And uh, soon we'll be done with uh, this Gospel. Um, praise God. Medyo mahaba-haba rin yung ating uh, journey sa Gospel of Luke. And I thank God and I, you know, I praise the Lord na tayo ay nasa chapter 22 na and in a, in a couple of a couple of chapters more, uh, matatapos na po natin yan. So anyway, uh, thank you everybody at uh, kung kayo po ay mayroong mga prayer needs, don't hesitate to just share sa comments. You know, I'd love to uh, just know about them and pray about them. And so I'll check it out later. Uh, for now, uh, ready natin ang sarili natin. We will be talking about uh, a topic na, you know, that brings uh, sorrow and sadness to my heart uh, as a person called by God uh, to share the gospel. No? And uh, the topic is uh, about the rejection of Jesus. It gives me sorrow kasi, uh, you know, as you well know, uh, I do my best to share Jesus to as many people as possible. But um, unfortunately, not everyone are willing to accept or believe, you know, in Jesus. Uh, and this is what I find to be, you know, um, the, the common situation nowadays, you know. Maraming mga tao who actually claim that they believe uh, and they do not realize that um, uh, it's not really true uh, based sa mga choices nila, sa life nila. Uh, they profess to believe, but in essence, they are rejecting Jesus. And uh, today, I want to focus on that, no? In the hope that uh, I may be able to raise up siguro yung uh, consciousness ng, ng mga tao, especially those who may not be aware uh, that they are rejecting the Lord Jesus, no, uh, in their own hearts. Again, the purpose here is not to uh, judge or reject anyone, no. Uh, for sure, nakikinig kayo ngayon, not because you reject Jesus, but because, you know, you believe in Him. Uh, but uh, perhaps you are, you know, interacting or engaging with people who seem to be, uh, you know, uh, rejecting Jesus, pero... Uh, you're not you're not so sure about it because they profess you know um, to uh, believe um, of course the the goal here is not to judge them or reject them but to pray for them you know uh, once you see now in essence uh, they are not really believing as they profess but really rejecting the Lord. So once you see those kinds of uh, manifestations, you are to really pray fervently for them that God would open their eyes and help them to see the truth. No, um, So that's what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> so uh, the passage that uh, we are reflecting on uh, is Luke 22, uh, verses 63 to 71. So. Um, Join with me, let's, uh, let's read that and then we'll pray. This is how the, uh, this passage starts. <clears throat> Teka muna, let me just uh, drink my coffee. Parang meron akong sipon. Anyway, so the men who were guarding Jesus uh, began mocking 
and beating him. Uh, they blindfolded him and demanded, Pro prophesy, who hit you? And uh, they said many other insulting things to him. At, da at daybreak, uh, the council of the elders of the people, uh, both uh, the chief priests and teachers of the law, uh, met together and Jesus was led before them. If you are the Christ, uh, they said, tell us. Jesus answered, if I tell you, you will not believe me. And if I ask you, you would not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the mighty God. They all ask, are you then the Son of God? He replied, you are right in saying I am. Then they said, why do we need any more testimony? We have heard it from his own lips. And Paul. Now, obviously, this is uh, uh, a rejection of Jesus on the part of uh, the soldiers as well as the, you know, the religious leaders of Israel at that time. And uh, probably today, people would not admit, you know, that they are rejecting Jesus. But um, I want us to look into this passage and be able to to see how how the people reject Jesus, okay? And uh, we can see from the passage there are three ways, and I hope uh, this would be an eye opener. Sometimes people don't really uh, admit or understand uh, they are rejecting Jesus. They would say, "Oh, I believe in Jesus." Uh, but in essence, they do not. They they reject him, and so this is basically just telling the truth, you know? just being honest. So uh, let's pray and um, let's ask God for His help, <clears throat> Lord. Uh, by Your grace, Panginoon, we are right now talking about this topic. And um, I hope nobody uh, from this audience or in this audience are rejecting you in any way. But Lord, uh, I pray you would open our eyes uh, if somebody would be listening to this, uh, that um, if they are rejecting you, that they would see it, Lord, that they would admit it to themselves. Because only through honesty can you help us, O oh Lord God. Um, I pray that this may be a moment of uh, truth-telling, that we would indeed be honest, and that we would be able, Lord God, to face the truth about ourselves if ever we are rejecting you in any way. So, Lord, uh, speak to us, Panginoon, and use me, Father, by your grace, that I may be able to speak as you would want me to speak. Uh, this is our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God. So once again, let me just drink my coffee. Almost na po ba ang breakfast niyo? So, um, parang na, na feel ko na parang meron akong, you know, sipon or something. Hopefully, it won't uh, prevent me from sharing God's word uh, this morning. So, ano ba yung three ways? Ano, uh, there are three ways. Again, what I'm about to share with you um, are ways that people are rejecting the Lord Jesus in essence, even though they may not admit that they are rejecting the Lord. The first way, you no, know, is not taking seriously Jesus' true identity. It's not taking seriously Jesus' true identity. And we can see that in verses 63 to 65. So let's read that. The men who were guarding Jesus began mocking and beating him. So, itong mga temple guards na to, no? uh, they are the ones who are guarding Jesus. Sempre, you know, we, we, uh, 
don't know who they are. Pero by their actions, we can see na for them, all of this is just a game. In fact, sabi susunod na, na verse, uh, they blindfolded him and demanded, prophesy, no? Who hit you? So, and then finally, it's so verse 65. And they said many other insulting things to him. Some people, misan, hindi nila aminin that they re they are rejecting the Lord. But in essence, if you look at the way uh, they think about Jesus or they talk about Jesus, or they even, siguro sabihin natin, when, whenever they consider, you know, the Christian faith, it's just parang a big joke to them. There's nothing to be taken seriously in, in effect, no? Parang uh, laro-laro lang, no? Uh, there are people uh, who do not realize that when they treat the, the words of the Lord, you know, yung mga sinasabi niya as, uh, you know, not seriously, but, you know, just being easy-easy lang and uh, hindi talaga siniseryoso you know, yung mga words ng ating Panginoon, it's tantamount to rejecting the Lord. If you're not taking seriously uh, the Word of God, if you're not taking seriously who Jesus is, um, if He's Lord and Savior, then you cannot parang just be moderately interested in that. You have to either be uh, committed to Him because He is Lord, or better admit na you do not really acknowledge Him as Lord. Pero there's no middle ground. There's no playing around. Okay? Some people, minsan kasi, I see them na not really taking seriously, uh, you know, the claims of Christ. Of course, sa ibang bagay, they would take it seriously. Maybe their jobs or their careers or, you know, their love life, they take it seriously. But as far as the Lord Jesus is concerned, parang, you know, half-hearted sila. They, they do not really consider, who is Jesus? Is He the Lord and the Savior of all? You know, if we think that He is just a parang, a good teacher, or uh, saying nice things to us, then we're, then we're missing really the whole point. I'm afraid that some people, do not really realize that they are rejecting the Lord Jesus when they choose to just take lightly His claim to be Lord and Savior of our lives. Pag di natin siniseryoso yan, it is tantamount to rejecting the Lord. We know that He is Lord and Savior, pero minsan we don't take it seriously. We just, you know, we're just playing games. And uh, I say this not to judge anyone, but to, to make us realize, uh, how serious are you uh, in uh, regarding Jesus as your Savior and Lord? Is it just parang, you know, is it just parang playing games or going through routines or rituals? I hope and pray that we take seriously uh, who Jesus is. That He is the Lord and the Savior of all mankind. And so therefore, that is a very serious matter. You cannot play games with that. Okay? And I hope and pray, if someone is listening right now, kung di mo siniseryoso ang Panginoon, it is not amount to rejecting Him. So consider, consider that. And I hope and pray that you would Stop, you know, parang treating Jesus lightly. That you would, in fact, you know, uh, take seriously who He is. If He is the Lord of your life, then you should surrender yourself to Him and let His will be done sa buhay mo. So this is the first way that people are rejecting Jesus without even knowing it. Okay? The second way, is not recognizing Jesus' divine authority. This, of course, overlaps with the first one, but this is even more deeper than the first one. You're not just taking, parang ikanga, not taking seriously, but 
really, you, you don't recognize that Jesus is the Son of God, that He is the Lord, no? I want us to look at verses uh, 66 to 69 para ma-highlight ito, no? Sabi sa verse 66, At daybreak, the council of the elders of the people, both the chief priests and teachers of the law, met together, and Jesus was led before them. This is one of those uh, 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 evidence na everything was being done in an unjust way. Kasi hindi tama yun. They should not. Parang hindi nila dapat minamadali yung trial na yan, Especially since it, it involves uh, the death penalty. And, uh, you know, everything is being done in an uh, unrighteous way. Anyway, sabi nga nito, uh, if you are the Christ, they said, tell us. Okay? And Jesus answered, Ganito, If I tell you, okay, you will not believe me. And if I ask you, you would not answer. In other words, they're not willing to think through the implications. No? Even if he says that he, are, he is the, you know, uh, the Messiah, the Christ. Pero sabi sa verse uh, 69, But from now on, sabi niya, the Son of Man, Na yun yung title na, you know, that goes back to the book of Daniel. Uh, the title that is uh, ascribed to the Christ, the coming Christ in the book of Daniel. Uh, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the mighty God. The right hand means, of course, uh, the authority of God. So in other words, uh, Jesus was saying that he had uh, and he has you no know, authority. Uh, as the Messiah, as the, the Son of Man, as he calls himself. And yet, you know, they do not recognize that. They do not recognize his divine authority. Again, people don't realize this. Now, when you're living your life, basically, kung saan ikaw yung nasusunod, and, you know, what you what you want, to get, you go ahead and and try to get that. In other words, you're living a self-directed life. Which you can, of course, siempre, di ba? You, you have the choice. And I, I've seen a lot of people who profess to be Christians, pero they do not recognize, you know, uh, the authority of Jesus upon their lives. So it's not just parang they don't take it seriously. Talagang blatantly and disobediently, they just go ahead and do whatever they want. Sa anumang area ng buhay nila, whether career yan or relationships or whatever, they, they just go ahead and do what they want. They don't even consider what the Lord wants for their lives. Again, this is, uh, you know, a problem. Kasi people who do this, sometimes they would even claim to be Christians. They would say, well, you know, I believe in God or I'm a Christian. Pero by their choices, they, they show na ang may authority talaga sa buhay nila is themselves. I say this um, not to judge anyone, but to make us realize na minsan what we're doing is tantamount to rejecting Jesus. And the best thing is really to be honest with ourselves. Don't, don't say that you believe in the Lord when in fact you're rejecting Him. If He has no authority in your life, even if you say, I'm a Christian, well, it's not really true. Because He, you know, He is seated at the right hand of God. That's what the Bible says. In other words, He has divine authority. If there is anything na kailangan natin inaalam sa buhay natin, is God's will for our lives. <clears throat> we cannot parang claim to be Christians and then go ahead and just do what we want. Uh, this is especially true during those moments na minsan nasusubukan tayo, like in relationships, di ba? Minsan magkakaroon ng conflict or magkakaroon ng disagreement. Now, the, the will of the Lord is for us to live in peace, to work it out, to talk to that person, 
to resolve the problem. Pero misan, ang gagawin natin, we just choose to disengage and not talk to the person anymore and, you know, and if somebody were to confront us and why do you do those things? Well, they would say, well, kasi eh, hindi ko feel na makipag-usap sa kanya eh. But this is really tantamount to not obeying the Lord. This is tantamount to uh, rejecting Him. Um, the, the purpose of what I'm talking about right now is to make us realize and see na, for instance, yung, yung unang point natin, that we don't take seriously the Lord, who He is. And then secondly, we don't really, uh, you know, recognize yung kanyang divine authority. Uh, these, these are all meant to shake us up and make us realize na misan, we, we think we are believing, pero in effect, we are rejecting Jesus. And my hope is that we would, of course, stop doing that and we would repent from that and we would turn to the Lord in sincere obedience to Him. Okay, so the, the first thing that we must not do is parang treat Jesus' true identity as if it's some big joke, you know. We should take it seriously, okay. Secondly, we must recognize His divine authority. That we we would we should not live our lives as if what matters is what we want, you know how we want it, etc. It's all about you know letting His will be done in my life. And of course, it's a process. Alam ko yon, and uh, I've always taught you these things. You know, na, uh, we grow in the grace and knowledge of God. Of course, sometimes we don't know what the will of God is in some in some instances, so we try to discern that. Pero that's not about that's not what I'm talking about. Ang sinasabi ko rito is yung basic attitude or posture ng puso natin. If we are not, you know, recognizing his divine authority sa buhay natin, then really it's tantamount to uh, rejecting the Lord. And I hope and pray that we do not do do those things. Okay. Now, last but not the least, not accepting Jesus' uh, faithful testimony. Which is, of course, again, you no, know, his words, you know. Um, he is Lord of all, and he is the Savior of all mankind. And so his words and what he says, these are the things that really matter sa buhay natin. So let's read verses 70 to 71. Uh, they all ask, are you the Son of God? He replied. Uh, he replied, you are right in saying, I am. Then they said, Why do we need any more testimony? We have heard it from his own lips. So in a way, you know, uh, Jesus testified about his true identity, which brought him to the cross eventually. Uh, this is, of course, uh, very, you know, profound. But... Uh, I, you know, the thing that we must reflect upon is, do I really listen to the words of Jesus? Do I really take seriously what he says about reality, about life, etc.? Unfortunately, there are those who claim to believe in Jesus, pero they do not you know, accept yung kanyang testimony about God, about the life that we have, about our souls. It's like parang we want to make up our own reality opposite that of what the Lord Jesus has said and has taught us. Jesus declared that He is indeed the Son of God. And of course, this is, you know, uh, important and everything else, you know, um, rises or falls based on that. No, If He is indeed the Son of God, that's why His resurrection is so crucial in the Christian faith. And, uh, you know, the the fact that He teaches us the reality is so important, no? Na we must uh, ask ourselves, do I see the world and my own life in light of what Jesus says or has said in His Word? Or do I come up with my own reality? Unfortunately, there are those who actually... Do, do not accept what Jesus 
uh, says. For example, you know, uh, he did say, now, what profits a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? That's just one of the testimonies of the Lord concerning the reality of the kingdom of God. But do we, do we accept that? Do we believe in what he says? So, you know, how, how do people reject Jesus? Sometimes they don't really realize that they are rejecting Jesus. They claim to believe in, in him, but in reality, they are not. They are rejecting him. So there are three ways. First of all, you know, uh, not taking seriously uh, Jesus' true identity. And uh, people just make games out of that. They just, you know, mention the name of Jesus. You know, and especially, you know, some it's a, it's a movies, right? they just don't take him seriously. Uh, not recognizing Jesus' divine authority. Not uh, honoring his right to rule in our lives. And then, uh, you know, not accepting Jesus' faithful testimony, his words, his teachings. So, I think, uh, you know, the bottom line here is we must consider seriously the decision to reject Jesus. Because it has dire consequences sa buhay natin. It's one thing to profess now we believe in the Lord. Pero are we really believing in Him? Again, my goal here in this devotional is not to judge anyone, but to make us examine ourselves, to make us see whether this is really true. Do I really believe in the Lord Jesus? Or am I just playing games? Am I just, parang, you know, living my own life the way I want to? Pero on the one hand, I would say, oh, I believe in Jesus. Pero basically, I live my life the way I want to. And one of the, you know, the, but the saddest things that is happening right now um, sa mundo natin is that there are a lot of people who are involved in scandals of many kinds, you know, and these are Christians, you know, they profess to be Christians. They are in the limelight. Tapos, you would hear about um, the scandals that, you know, they are involved in. Uh, I, I don't know everything, pero in some cases, talaga, obvious talaga na they have sinned. And so the question really comes back to, ano, eh, to this. Eh, am, am, I, am I really a believer in the Lord Jesus or am I just playing games here? I remember many years ago when the Lord uh, impressed upon my heart that he was calling me to serve him. I was really afraid. You know, I was really hesitant. I said, Lord, uh, please, you know, don't, don't call me. I, I will just... I will just follow you in some other, you know, anonymous way. Pero don't don't call me. And the reason why I was uh, parang pushing back was because I I knew myself. You know, I knew that uh, I I am not consistent. You know, but the Lord, by His mercy, nevertheless called me and um, told me to preach His word. So in spite of my hesitation, in spite of the fact that I was afraid and so forth. I said, uh, Lord, uh, I, I don't want to be... Because at that time, I was very critical upon those who were parang, sabi natin, hypocritical. And the Lord basically impressed upon me yung idea na you, you tend to judge everyone else. But now I call you to stand up for me. So, uh, that's more than ilang years ago. <laughs> um, but... Uh, you know, I, I, I really believe na what is needed today are people who do, not, who do not just say parang they believe in the Lord. But they really do. They really practice uh, what they profess. They really recognize that Jesus is Lord, that He has authority over their lives, and that His Word means something. Okay? And this is my prayer for all of us dito sa devotional na ito. Maglan tayo makinig ng Word of God and then basically just do our own thing, live our own lives. Let's follow the Lord. Let's be serious about it. Okay? Let's be true disciples of the Lord Jesus. Um, let Him have authority sa buhay natin. Okay? And uh, I hope and pray that this devotional wakes us up and makes us realize na hindi sapat na we just profess to believe. 
uh, let's examine our hearts because sometimes we are rejecting Him without even knowing it. So I hope and pray na kung sakali mang ganun yung situation, if you are professing to believe pero basically living a life contrary to His will, uh, then it's time for us to just acknowledge that and repent from that and, you know, turn to God in sincere uh, repentance. So, purihin ang Panginoon. Um, let's pray. Lord, uh, forgive us, Panginoon, <coughs> sa mga times na we, we profess to believe, by, pero in fact, we are rejecting uh, who you are and your authority over our lives and your word. Tulungan niyo po kami, Panginoon, to be sincere believers in Christ, that we would truly follow you and submit our lives to you, Panginoon. Uh, not just through our words, but through our actions, through our choices, Panginoon. So I pray for everyone who are listening right now. I pray that they would become sincere followers of Christ in every way, not just uh, in terms of parang superficial lang, na panlabas lang, but in the reality of their lives. I pray that each and every one would truly recognize you as Lord and submit ourselves to you, Panginoon, uh, fully and follow you, and follow your will for our lives. So, Lord, if ever we recognize or we see anyone uh, who might be rejecting you, um, Lord, I pray now we would not be judgmental, that we would not reject that person, but rather we would persevere and help that person to see that uh, it's not enough that we profess to believe. Uh, we also must truly practice what we believe. So, Lord, uh, I pray that we would be patient and kind to people who are struggling, uh, that we would uh, indeed help them so that yung professed faith nila will truly become a reality in their lives. So, Father, marami salamat po. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.